Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Puri Bhatt. I am a naturopathy doctor and a nutritionist. And today I want to talk about vitamin B12, um, what are its sources, can vegetarians get enough, does the Indian diet have enough vitamin B12, and um, a really commonly asked question about how did our ancestors actually get enough B12. So let's get into it. So vitamin B12 is um, an essential vitamin, which means it's a vitamin which cannot be synthesized by the body. We have to take it through the diet so that we get enough of it. Um, secondly, I wanted to talk about um, what kind of vitamin it is. So it's a water soluble vitamin. That is really important because um, I'll come to that later, but just keep in mind that it's a water soluble vitamin. I wanted to talk about the functions of vitamin B12. So essentially vitamin B12 has a lot of functions in the body, but it really helps with nerve synapses and it helps the nerves to function properly. So the nerves are covered by a sheath called a myelin sheath and B12 actually helps in the synthesis of this myelin sheath, which is what gives us conduction, nerve conduction, which means that our body is able to um, transport impulses. It's able to synthesize and conduct these impulses partly because of good vitamin B12 levels, okay? So that's why when you have deficiency of vitamin B12, you tend to have numbness, tingling, slow responses. You'll find yourself feeling low on energy, feeling dull, um, getting tired quickly. These are some common symptoms that you, know, you have less vitamin B12 in your diet. For vegetarians, the good sources of vitamin B12 would be dairy products like milk, paneer, cheese, curd, um, buttermilk, all the dairy products contain some amount of vitamin B12. Um, another source of vitamin B12 would be uh, mushrooms, which is also applicable for vegans, nutritional yeast, um, certain kinds of fermented food, like certain types of pickles have a small amount of vitamin B12. Another really good source of vitamin B12 is um, spirulina, which is a kind of um, algae, which is considered, you know, superfood, blah, blah, blah. That's also a very good source of B12. And um, for non-vegetarians, of course, all animal product contains B12, especially eggs is a good source of B12. Meat is a good source of B12. Um, statistically, only 26% of Indians are getting enough vitamin B12 in their diets. So that's pretty low. This is some of the common questions that people were asking me about vitamin B12 that I thought would be pertinent to cover. One is that how did our ancestors get enough B12? So obviously our ancestors didn't have fancy supplements, they didn't have all of this. So a lot of people were asking me that how did like, um, you know, ancient man and ancient Indian vegetarians get this B12? I don't exactly know the answer to that. I wish I did because I think it would be really interesting. <laughs> but my educated guess would be that um, probably the firstly, most of ancient India was not vegan, we were vegetarian. The quality of milk that we had was probably better because it's not mass produced. Um, for example, if you have an heirloom or desi cow, it gives you around one to two liters of milk per day. Whereas um, a Jersey cow or the so-called regular cow gives you around 18 to 20 liters of milk per day. So um, the quality of milk is obviously different. Nutritionally is different. My Secondly, we don't actually know that they had enough B12 because we didn't have testing back in the day, but our ancestors appeared to be largely healthy. So I'm thinking that maybe the quality of the food they were consuming was better than the quality of the food we are consuming today. And that could be why they have enough B12. And maybe their guts were also better able to synthesize and absorb this B12. Because B12 is actually um, dependent on um, an enzyme in the stomach, which helps with its absorption. I'm not going to go into the technicalities because it'll get really boring. But that could have maybe been like a better level, a higher level, more efficient. I'm just guessing here. I really don't know the answer to this, but that would be my educated guess about why our ancestors got enough B12. Um, another question was about fermented food. So really big nutritionists are talking about how pickle will give you enough B12. And um, I'm all for traditional eating. Like I grew up in a family which is obsessed with traditional eating. I come from a family that's based in Ayurveda. And let me just say that I don't think pickle has enough B12 because you will need to eat a lot of pickle to meet your B12 requirements. And um, that much pickle will probably give you acidity. So I would say that it's definitely good to include fermented foods in your diet. It's very, very good to include our local pickles, but it's probably not gonna give you as much B12 as you need to actually meet your body's requirements. Um, 
my current take is that supplementation is the easiest way to meet your b12 requirement if you have a deficiency i don't prescribe a lot of supplements in fact i'm quite anti supplement most of the time but with b12 i think it's one of the few supplements that actually is worth taking because um having deficiency of b12 has a lot more problems and um it's very very unlikely that you're going to overdose on b12 because it's a water soluble vitamin so it actually gets excreted in the urine if you take it in excess so the likelihood of you consuming too much is very low and um it's not a very expensive supplement it's not a heavily um how to say it's not like one of those trendy supplements that will come and go so i actually think there's some benefit to um taking a supplement but that in brief is my views about b12 which was very commonly asked and um yeah i hope i hope you found this useful i hope it didn't ramble on too much and i would really appreciate some feedback on this video because i know my editing and stuff is up like top notch and everything but um if you liked it please just let me know and that would mean a lot to me <laughs> anyway take care have a nice day bye